Hi, I'm Martin Nell, Executive Chef at Claridge's, and today we're going to be doing the Tom Aitken Challenge, which is only a pavement away uh, initiative, great initiative that he set up um, for the hospitality charity. The challenge is kind of in three stages actually. It's uh, donate five pounds, come up with a five minute recipe, which I'm going to do a sea bass ceviche and then nominate five chefs. So my lucky five chefs will be Harry Kirkpatrick from Trinity in Clapham, Jack Galliano from Galliano Dining, uh, Graham Squire from The Goring in London, uh, Alistair Burke from Harrods, head pastry chef there, and Hope Cameron Webb, who's sous chef at Claridge's Pastry. So to get on with my dish, I am going to pop this lime juice into the bowl here, so juice of one lime. I've then got a little bit of chopped garlic here, which has got a tiny bit of salt on it, and then a little bit of red onion. And this is to just get the ceviche marinade going. I've diced some red chili, so a little spoonful of that going in there. I'm then going to add a good handful of salt just to start all that breaking down and obviously with a ceviche we want a good amount of seasoning in it anyway. I am also going to add a couple of oils here. I've got a little bit of lemon oil, which has got a nice uh, zesty flavour to it. And then this lovely French olive oil, which I'm particularly fond of. So we're going to give that a little stir and give this a twist of pepper as well. And then the, uh, the sea bass, just going to that. This is Lime Core Wild Sea Bass from Chamberlain, so thank you very much, Ray. Um, and that took me a little more than five minutes to slice, but I have uh, that was just one fillet. And uh, just with a, a nice sharp knife, very gently through it, and then I've taken a little bit of time to arrange that on the plate. I'm gonna tear a little bit of basil into this now and use a little bit of this fresh basil here for garnish. And I generally do this with mint and basil, but I've also uh, come across a little bit of lemon verbena in the garden. And uh, verbena is probably my favorite herb. Almost looks like tea, or other people seem to think it looks like something else, but I don't know what that is. Um, and just with this verbena, I'm just gonna shoot in a little bit of these larger leaves. I'm going to prep these little yellow and red cherry tomatoes, which have quickly been blanched. And we just, they're a bit delicate now, so I've just left this till the last minute, just to uh, place on the sea bass. I'd just like to say the very best of luck to all our fellow chefs and people in the industry that are fortunate enough to be opening their doors. To. I hope you're as busy as you need and want to be and the very best of luck with, uh, with the opening and uh, the distancing and, and getting, getting all those great customers that we all need back into the business and also getting our teams back together again. So I'm just gonna dress this generously because this uh, this dressing is going to cure or cook this sea bass. So I'm just going to be very generous and use all of it. In fact, all of our small leaves are just going to go on top of this. Got a little bit of avocado here that we're just going to sit in the middle. And then I've got a few lovely oxalis flowers here. Um, which are also going to go on. A couple of nasturtium flowers, which we're going to be a bit sparing with because uh, they're a bit peppery and we don't want to go too crazy with them. And there you go. There's your sea bass ceviche.